I swear, New York winters is for you to just be a prisoner in your crib. It's so dreary, rainy, wet, snowy. I need some oxygen. I'm vitamin D deficient and I need some green in my life. Really? That's what we've come to? The groundhog is a liar and I need a little spring love like Stevie B. But when I think of spring, the first thing that pops into the head is green, green scent. I want the smell of the grass, the dewy, wet, freshly mowed lawn. So it's only right that I put you guys on to 10 sexy green fragrances to start summoning the spring to come through because it's freezing over here. And I know some of y'all don't live in that New York tri-state Eastern snowy situation. You're already down south somewhere in your mankinis living your best life, but some of us are struggling. But let's roll my music because I put together a fabulous list of green spring gems for you to spray them balls with. Listen, more to my beautiful peoples, you know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Green is the name of the game, and I've put together some really fire green fragrances. I'm gonna start with the least desirable in my taste, and that's because it has a petty grain slash neroli essence. Neroli and petty grain are not my friends. Me and you, we were never. Friends. And in this particular fragrance, it's a little bit on the prominent side, but there's a ton of people that love it for the spring, so who am I to deprive you? I think it's a good fragrance, not amazing, and not one that I wear ever. Because Neroli just doesn't agree with me. It smells like a five-year-old's tushy, lathered with para mi bebe baby cologne. But that fragrance is Foth's Essentials Green Water. Now the green comes from basil, mint, and tarragon. But the opening for me is just a punch of oak moss with a shower of Neroli. That is not my personal taste, but Neroli is pretty much like a staple piece for some people to have that freshness and that liveliness when it comes to spring. You have a lot of green elements in here that smell absolutely beautiful, but to my nose, they all get lost in the sauce because of the Neroli. Now, for those of you who have never seen my channel before and don't understand what the hell Neroli is or why I don't love it, is because Neroli smells like baby cologne. In the Latin community and in the Caribbean cultures, there's a particular type of fragrance. Well, let me just show you. Essentially, these joints right here that give me all the Neroli essences that you can imagine. These are children's cologne. You get lathered, I mean bombarded, rain showered as a child, and I mean child like all the way to like 11, you get bombarded with these scent profiles which scream petty grain and neroli and white florals and I am traumatized. <laughs> So whenever I encounter a Neroli prominent fragrance, it automatically pinpoints me to a childhood wearing bow ties, leather Jesus slippers, and suspenders. I had a fat butt and huge legs. You know how weird I look? Tubby. Uh -oh. But I'm still not gonna front. This is a solid green fragrance for those who enjoy Neroli. Next one. Now let's jump into some fun joints with a little bit of a booze action. And the fragrance that I'm talking about is Saint Julep by Imaginary Authors. Sugary cocktail. I wanna wear a big brim hat and ride a stallion. Pause. Wait, that sounded crazy. An incredible, sweet, sugar concocted mint cocktail in a bottle. Absolutely stellar, delicious, amazing. I love this scent and this is just me summoning the beauty of spring. Oh, this smells so fun. I don't get to wear this fragrance often, but when I do, it absolutely brings a smile to my face. Sweet sugar, tangerine, mint, literally crust ice with a little spritzer of a little boozy bourbon. So if you've ever had a sip of a mint julep or were curious to what a mint julep would smell like in fragrance form, this is the most incredible interpretation that I personally have encountered and smells phenomenal. Talk about manifesting the spring in a fragrance form. Saint Julep is absolutely that. Fantastic greenery. Next one. The legend himself, Green Irish Tweed. If this doesn't scream green to you, you've never smelled it. And if you have smelled it and it still doesn't scream green to you, you got COVID. Yeah, 
classic man. Delicious. The description that I generally give for this fragrance doesn't get any better. Walking through a huge park, in my case, Central Park, after a one week rainstorm, the dewiness of that grass just walking through, combined with that freshly cut smell, is amazing. Green lemon verbena, musky, classical, beautiful, timeless scent that you're getting here with Green Irish Tweed. This is one of those staple pieces in that Creed lineup that hasn't died yet. Unfortunately, a lot of the Creed fragrances have been suffering tremendously when it comes to the reformulations and performance factor, but this, try to get one of the older batches because this joint is just legendary, or you can just get a real cheap option and get in that cool water space. Next one. Now the green in this next fragrance for a budget niche house that is straight up organic to the 20th power, like there's no GMOs, they don't test on animals, cruelty free and all that delicious 2024-ness. This has grass and figgy notes with a bunch of soily essences that smell like you're just working in the garden all day, but it has a beautiful liveliness and when it fully dries down, you have a little bit of a suede essence. That's what you're gonna get in Kieran NYC's 10 a.m. Flirt. Yeah, this bottle is demolished. When it comes to these little white lacquer bottles, they're beautiful in theory, but when you have a ton of fragrances and they all stacked up against each other, they will chip, fall apart, and disintegrate as this bottle has. Now, scent profile wise, amazing delicious. Probably my favorite from the entire Kieran NYC lineup. The versatility is there. It screams warm weather and springy vibes. I want to throw on a big brim hat, a nice suede jacket, a fly ass boot, a white t-shirt, crisp pressed, unlike this one. <laughs> and just walk around New York City after having a couple of brunch cocktails, just chilling, bro. Like living that city life, getting that whole essence, smelling the bum piss and the shit that's on the floor, getting the waft of weed in the air. That's what New York City is about, bro. The life, the personality, the energy vibes. And Kieran NYC brand encompasses the whole New York energy. But 10 a.m. flirt for me is the green gem in that lineup. Next one. Now this fragrance is a risky one. I had to put it in there because I, yet to encounter another greener fragrance than this one. I've mentioned this in a couple of videos in the past. Anytime there's any fragrance video, whether it be green, herbal, photorealistic, is what you're gonna get out of this fragrance. Barely get anywhere out of this joint because it's only for the artistic individuals, but those who appreciate true perfumery and its artistry behind it will 100% agree that Bonsai by House of Matriarch is beyond green. You cultivated everything you had in your garden that had the color tone green, put it through a food processor slash blender and put it in this bottle. First of all, it has like a seven month longevity on your skin. It doesn't wash off, but followed by, I don't think it has any kind of real sex appeal, but it has amazing artistry and crazy craftsmanship and crazy perfumery skills in this fragrance to really open your eyes to what the photorealistic capabilities of green truly are. Also, not a cheap fragrance, but it doesn't smell cheap either. It's risky but it's so unique and I promise you you'll probably never smell another fragrance like this again and when you see the word bonsai how do you not think of the karate kid wax on wax off next one wax on wax off fun and green fragrance and springtime in a bottle doesn't necessarily have to scream a complex fragrance this next fragrance is a newer acquisition in my collection loved it at first sniff it just screamed I'm ready to wear you in the hot weather and I think MFK did a great job with this joint from my taste that's aqua media colonia forte I just got this joint it slaps amazing greenery with that mint and basil fennel energy it's got a bunch of citric lemon and then it has that green tea note in this fragrance. It's super fire, very vibrant, nice and earthy, beautifully green, deep, and smelled like you were dry humping in the garden. He is dry humping my garden though. This is delicious. It could have gone either way. Like if they would have put a dash in a rollie, which I'm sure the perfumer was politic in that one making this fragrance, but thank God they didn't because it came out absolutely perfect to my nose. It screams hot weather. The performance right now has been kind of moderate. I haven't had an actual chance to wear it in the weather that it's intended for, but I do plan to do so as, again, I just got it. But I can imagine how good this shit is gonna perform. But the scent profile itself, it can't get any greener and funner than this joint. It's super playful. Next one. Now this one's gonna be a hard one to get, but 
the legendary Crypto Mint is in the house. Crypto Mint is just that. Amen's version with their DNA of that petroleum violet leaf energy with that minty freshness. It's a little bit punchy and if you don't know the Amen DNA, it might be a little challenging. Just like finding the fragrance, at least for a decent price. This shit is essentially a York peppermint patty in a bottle. Now if you do happen to own these fragrances or get your hand on Crypto Mint, if you feel that petroleum type essence, that minty vibrancy with a little bit of an espresso flow is your kind of tea. Just remember, once you get these fragrances, the atomizer on it is absolute garbage because they have this rubber grommet thing. So you always got to cut it out with a box cutter, razor blade, ninja star. Did you say ninja? To make sure you give space for the atomizer to be able to be pressed thoroughly so you can get the best distribution of this fragrance possible. What's sick about this fragrance when it completely dries down, it starts to smell a little bit creamy, like a chocolatey York peppermint patty milkshake-ish kind of energy. There's something creamy that comes off the skin and I think it's super delicious. Was wildly popular when it came out, but now it's just very delicious difficult to get for a good price as you used to be able to get these joints for like 30 bucks and now ugh, next one now the next one is probably one of the few fragrances I will ever recommend from this house because I don't enjoy a lot of the fragrances in this house just to be fully transparent but Bay 19 is given to me by my wife can't get rid of it what contest in hell did I win and is actually one of the better musky juniper berries that I have in my collection it's airy it's a punch of gin there's a lot of ambroxan energy in here and sometimes what happens with the lalabo fragrances on my skin is that I have to let them get to that full mid and dry down portion before I even try to get any kind of closeness to it because the musky chemicalness of this joint is just a little bit too much which is great for those who are starving and like I absolutely need something to perform very well maybe it has something to do with the way that they chemically put this together in order for it to perform and last very well although this doesn't project like priest mode it's more like an alcoholic punch of a ton of greenery but the fragrance is essentially green minty patchouli juniper berry with a hell of a lot of musk. So if you're a Lalabo fan and you're looking for some springtime love, Bay 19 might be right up your alley. Listen, the shit is good once it dries down. Next one. The next fragrance is a cinnamon and apple punch in the face with heavy cedars and musk. And that's Greenly by Parfums de Marley. Oh, Greenly. It is very green, very citrus, slightly aquatic with some hard wood. Pause. Is Boner one of them? It's fun to see how this fragrance develops, especially since it's not one that I reach out a whole ton. This is very much hot weather, springtime appropriate. But there's a nice amount of fruitiness in the air that's a little bit surprising, kind of caught me off guard right now. I get the citrus, I get the green elements, I absolutely get that cedar flow, but I'm getting a lot of like fruit cocktail-ish energy in the air right now, which I'm not necessarily mad at. The greenish apple energy in here is kind of subtle and subdued. I'm getting more of a fruit cocktail kind of blend, almost pearish kind of note, to be honest with you. But if we're talking about green fragrances that represent springtime, fam, this shit just screams 70 degrees, clear, bright, sunny skies. Get me out of this cave. And finally, Yacht Party vibes. We got some fig energy in this fragrance. That's a hell of an atomizer by the house of Hermes. Un Jardin and Mediterranean. Woody, fig also. There's a little bit of a molasses nutty stickiness in this fragrance, but it has notes like cypress, juniper, cedar, but what you're getting really is a sticky kind of gummy smell of fig. A lot of earth, a lot of depth, and a slight bit like a squirrel salt bay style of citrus to help open up a little bit and provide some liveliness to that overall soily scent. It's got some bitterness, it's got some soapiness, but it also has a little bit of a bubbly effervescence fit. There's no linear quality in this particular fragrance and it starts to change very beautifully off of my skin. It's not a mass appeal scent profile. It can become a little challenging on the opening, but let it do its thing on your skin. Definitely sample it before you blind buy it. But you start to see that there's a lot of uniqueness here, especially if you have a dynamic fragrance collection. But if you're the type of person that vacations in the Hamptons and mingles with everybody who's chilling, wearing white linen, all flashy and pansy and shit, this is definitely right up your alley in that unique vibe. You're definitely not gonna be in the space of the F boys wearing like a Savage or some crazy shit. Ooh, Aventus, get out of here. So these are 10 dynamic, sexy green fragrances to welcome and summon in the spring. Let me know what your favorite spring fragrances are and maybe I'll mention and review and give my opinion on a future video. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Smooches. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>